Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video for you guys. It's literally felt like it's been a year. Like it feels like it's been so long since the last time I sat down and recorded a video. Um, so without further ado, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a like massive haul of just everything that I bought in the last couple of weeks, maybe even month. Um, I bought a lot, so be prepared. This video is going to be long but I just felt like recording. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is books because I have been on a reading kick this summer. Um, so I've just been reading a whole lot of books. Um, some of these I've already read and finished. Um, so I don't know, I just felt like showing you guys. So, the first couple of books, um, which I already left the first one at home, but I decided to get Twilight series and then read them all. Um, I already finished the whole series, and the first book, Twilight, is um, at my apartment in Kentucky. But I just finished Breaking Dawn, I think yesterday or the day before. Um, so, yeah, I just finished the series. I've read it before, but, you know always got to reread. Um, and then the next book I got was Milk and Honey. Uh, this is a poetry book. It's uh, for mature audiences. And then I got Fifth Avenue 5am by Sam Wasson. Um, and this is a book about Audrey Hepburn. I also got um, Collected Stories of F. Scott Fitzgerald. I love Great Gatsby. So um, I figured I would try to read some of his other pieces just because I don't really haven't really read anything else by him um this one's also a classic To Kill a Mockingbird I've read this one like three times but you know didn't have it so bought it and then I just got this one this is The Woman Outside My Door by Rachel Ryan this looked really interesting and I love a good thriller and then I also got All the Missing Girls um by Megan Miranda and I also have more books at my apartment that I got um but I didn't bring them with me and these ones are pretty much all the ones that I just bought in New York so yeah and all of these books I got from either Goodwill or Savers actually I think they're all from Goodwill yeah all of these books are actually from Goodwill um and that's where I usually buy my books from because they are relatively pretty cheap there I mean these ones were $1.99 um some of them I think might have been $2.99 um Actually, I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe this one was. I took the things off. Anyways, they're between like a dollar and two, three dollars. So for a book, that's a pretty good price. And then I also have the ones down in Kentucky that I can show you guys if you want when I get back. So that is all that the books that I have for this part of the video. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited. If you guys want me to do a book review on some of these, definitely leave a comment down below. And that is something that I would love to do because, you know, I love reading. So, um, yeah, if that's something that you guys would be interested in, any kind of, like, book review or, like, book suggestions, my favorite book, any kind of book videos, let me know if that's something that you would like to see because I would love to record a book video. Anyways, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so the next couple of things are going to be just some random things that I got from, like, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. The first being my new purse. This is a Kate Spade purse. I got it from TJ Maxx, I'm pretty sure, a couple weeks ago. Um, and it was on sale for like $99, which is a pretty good price for Kate Spade. Um, and I got it because it actually matches my wallet. I got this my freshman year of college. But anyways, it matches my wallet. Super cute. Um, but yeah, so excited for that. And the next thing I got from TJ Maxx was this satin pillowcase um i have one of these and in my apartment and it is literally like the best thing ever it's good for your face it's good for your hair it's literally good for everything um so yeah i just got a black one because that was the only color they had um but i have one at school too and it's like a leopard print cheetah print type one so yeah really love these highly recommend recommend a satin pillowcase if you don't already have one and then the next two things I got are actually things that I needed. Um, and I actually picked up two new pairs of eyeglasses from this website called Fermu. 
Um, I've ordered glasses from them before and I've had them pretty much this whole time. Actually, I still have them. Um, and it was like literally two or three years ago that I got the last time I got new glasses. So I figured it was time that I get some new ones and I'm super excited about these ones because I love them. Um, and you'll see why in a second. So this is the first pair I got. They are these black ones. If you can see smudges, it's because I already wear them. Uh, but this is in the frame that I already have um, for my old ones. And they are prescription, so I usually wear glasses when I'm driving or um, at school. Pre and post COVID, but during COVID I would wear my contacts because of masks. But um, I really like that they come in these really nice little like baggies because they work really well when you're cleaning them. Um, and then the second pair I got are literally the exact same ones as my old ones, except these ones are blue light, um, like blue light or blue light protection, I guess. Um, but yeah, these are the same style as the black ones, but they're just this nice little like tortoise shell color. I really, really love these and they are the exact same as my old ones which I also have those right here. Um, the only difference is that these ones are blue light and these ones are not. These are my old ones. I've had these for at least two or three years um, and they actually have scratches all over them. So that's why I knew I needed some new ones. Um, but yeah, love these babies. They're super nice. Um, and Fermu has really great prices for their glasses. Um, for these ones specifically, I know I got them buy one, get one 50% off for the frames. Um, and because my prescription is I think it's only like 0.75 um I didn't have to pay for the lenses either um except for the blue light lenses I did pay for that coating um but yeah I would say I paid like $45 with shipping for both of these so it's a really good price for these um I will have a link to for Moo down below because I really love them and they're literally like the best and no this is not sponsored at all I just really love their glasses and they're very good quality for a pretty de decent price okay so the next couple things I'm going to show you um I got from Target Pink Sephora TJ Maxx kind of just a bunch of random things but it's more like skincare and hair care and just other random things like that before we actually get into the clothing part of this all um so the first thing I got is the Cocoa Pineapple um, Vitamin C Glow Boosting Body Scrub for from Pink. This stuff smells so good and it is the most like nourishing body scrub I've ever used. And I normally use the, um, what's it called? Like Tree Hut, I believe, the one at Target. Um, I usually use that one at school, but I didn't have one here while I'm home. So I decided to buy this one and it literally smells like coconuts. Um, it smells so good. I love the scent. It reminds me exactly of summer. I love using this stuff. And like I said, it leaves your body very, very nourished. Um, and I don't ever feel like I need to actually put lotion on after this, which is really nice. Um, because I hate putting lotion on after the shower, <laughs> but yeah, love this stuff. Um, the next thing I got is the pattern leave-in conditioner, the travel size. Um, I just wanted to try this out. My leave-in conditioner that I use right now is almost gone. So, um, and I saw a couple people with my type of hair, um, was using this brand. So I thought it would be really interesting to try and see if I liked it. And then if I do, like, obviously you can get another one or whatever. Um, and then the next thing I got was the SGX NYC Blaze Heat Protection Primer Spray. Um, with heat protection up to 450 degrees this stuff smells so good um, I literally just got it at Target um, I've only used it once but it smells literally amazing it smells like you just took like you just got out of the salon I don't even know it smells really good and I cannot wait to try it more because I like the way it smells speaking of heat um, I finally got a new hair straightener. This is the Ava NYC brand. Um, I just got this at TJ Maxx, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I really wanted one that I could actually use to also curl my hair at the same time. And also that had a, um, temperature setting spray or setting temperature setting period. Um, because my last one doesn't have a temperature adjustment. Um, and I find that I don't really like how hot it gets. So this one, I'm really glad that you can adjust the temperature and it's also got this like really cool technology that it evenly applies pressure on the whole thing um, like this no matter 
where you put the pressure when you're holding it closed. So I really like that because I've only used it once and I noticed that it really doesn't pull my hair um, like my old one does. And my old one I have had since eighth grade, which you might have seen that video. So anyways, really like this. Can't wait to keep trying it. The next thing I got um, were these Madison lashes from Sephora. These are the best lashes. I really like them for competitions. Um, I had another pair of these that I wore for Daytona and Worlds and they are some Natty Champ winning lashes. So hopefully these will get me at least through football season um, and any kind of appearances around there. But yeah, I really like these um, and they're not too expensive either. I also got a mineral sunscreen broad spectrum SPF from First Aid Beauty. Um, I've only worn this once, but I do like it, um, especially for days that I know I will be out in the sun, but I don't want like super high coverage on my face like I would anywhere else, um, or especially on days that I really don't put any sunscreen on at all. I at least want something on my face. So can't wait to keep trying this as well. And then the last like beauty type product I got was the YSL Mon Paris um, body spray or like perfume. My friend tried this. I'm pretty sure and it smelled so good so um yeah I really like this smell I know that I already like it I do have black opium as well back at my apartment but this one I'm for sure smells really good and then the last couple of things out of the miscellaneous category I still forget that I have two other bags of things before I get to close anyways I got a new planner because mine ends at the end of June and it is the middle of June already um, so I got a new 22-23 planner that goes from July to June of next year. Um, and I really like the purple color. Um, this one's just from Target. I believe it was like maybe $15, maybe less. Um, but yeah, I really like the like inside of it, how much space there is for everything. Because you know me, I'm a very busy gal and I like to plan everything out. So and then the last thing I got was this new notebook. This one is from Marshalls, I'm pretty sure. Um, but the front and last like books or pages are like kind of like this pleather material. Um, and it's super nice and thick. And I already have some books that I'm reading on here and like the, the dates and stuff that I finished them. And then I also have um, a page of YouTube videos that I'm wanting to do or planning to do um but yeah so that is everything for the miscellaneous i have one bag of stuff from bath and body works left and then we will get into clothes okay so um i went to bath and body works twice and i got a bunch of stuff there um the one i went to was already started there like semi-annual sale stuff so i spent a good amount of money there um i got this candle this is waikiki beach coconut um and i also got a whole bunch of other stuff as well so um the next thing i got there was tropical island colada candle and oh this smells really good um the candles were 50 percent off so i ended up paying like 13 bucks for these and then i got they i think it was five for eight um hand sanitizers i think so um i got rose water and ivy Mango Cove, Turquoise Waters, Island Margarita, and then I believe I have two more or one more um, that is in my car. I don't know what scent it is, but it's already in my car, so that. And then I also got Fiji White Sands Hand Soap and the Waikiki Beach Coconut Hand Soap. And then I went maybe two days ago again and they had my absolute favorite scent on sale um for hand soaps so I got the vanilla coconut I got three of the hand soaps because it's literally my favorite Bath Body Works scent and they don't sell it in anything but hand soap so you just know I had to get it okay so now we're finally going to start on the clothing part of this haul because I have a lot of them and that is probably the main reason you came. The first thing I'm gonna show you that I got stuff from is Marshalls because like I said, I get a lot from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. If you know me, you know that I am a big Bills fan and a pretty big Yankees fan 
and I always am looking for a good Bills t-shirt or Yankees t-shirt. So the Marshalls men's section came in clutch. I got this super comfy Bills t-shirt. Um, it was only 15 bucks. It's I think an XL. Yeah, it's an extra large men's, but the material is like the dry fit material. And that's literally like my favorite t-shirt material. Um, so it just says Buffalo Bills and the like Bills thing is like kind of camo-ish. And it's so soft. And then the next shirt I got is a Yankee shirt. And it's just, it's, this one's also an extra large. No, this one's just a large. Um, and But this one's more cottony. It's still pretty soft, but um, it just has the Yankees logo. Um, and then it has this little logo on the bottom. But I really like these t-shirts just to wear like practice and like to chill out in, to go to bed, all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I really love these t-shirts. Can't go wrong with a good team t-shirt. Okay, so this next thing, I literally just got it in the mail today um, and I haven't even tried it on yet, so I'm so excited. But I got this super cute, like handmade Bills, like little crop top thing. Um, I'm literally so excited for this. You have no idea. I've been looking, so this is by Tongue Tied Apparel um, and I will have her link to her website and uh, the social media down below. But I stalk her Instagram for the day that she's going to have a Bills or a Yankees one that I really, really love. Um, and while the prices are a little bit pricey, I will admit, I just absolutely love her designs of these tank tops. And I've been wanting a Bills one for literally forever. I'm so glad I finally got one. And the material, you can tell that it's really good handmade. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to wear this because... The next thing I got was this really nice black dress um, and I got this mainly to hopefully wear to work um, but it's just this and it goes down and it's long sleeve and they're like kind of a bigger arm um, and then the top is like this on the front and the back is more rouged um, so yeah I th think this is going to be super cute to go with like just a pair of sandals for work. Um, and that is actually, this is actually from, um, a girl I used to dance with her. She actually has a clothing company called Sincerely James and, um, I actually bought this from there. So yeah, I will definitely link this down below as well. If it's still on there, if not, I will just link her Instagram. Um, but yeah, super cute, really decently priced. Um, and we love small businesses. So the next thing I got is this little sleep set from Victoria's Secret. It's literally so comfy and adorable. Um, this is the top. It's just a nice little like racerback tank top. Um, and this is the pattern. It's like silky, satiny black, um, but it's got little, kind of like a little leopard print detail going. And then I got the matching shorts as well. They just look like this, super comfy. I love Victoria's Secret sleep shorts. They're literally like the best thing ever. Um, and then these were also 25 a piece and I'm pretty sure I had like 20 off 50. So they ended up being only like 30 bucks for this, which is really good. So then I also got these swim bottoms from Pink. I just needed a new pair of black ones and these ones are great. Um, and then the next place I went to was Arrow and I got a couple things there because it was all on sale. So the first thing I got was this cute little like blue crop top tank top. Um, super plain and casual, but you got to love a good basic. And I wear it all the time. <clears throat> I also got this cute little red bathing suit top. Um, I realized that I don't have any red bathing suits. Um, and this one is super cute. I already wore it once. So yeah. Um, and the next one I got is this cute little black one it ties up right here in the front um, and then it has the adjustment on the straps and it's super cute the next thing i got from arrow wore these little nice cream colored sweat shorts um these are literally probably like one of my favorite things i've bought so far um they're super comfy like 
the most chill pants you can wear um and they honestly are just like my favorite thing i have become obsessed with sweatshorts recently so i have like two or three pairs no shame about it love them um and then the next thing i got from tj maxx i got this super cute little leopard print kind of see-through workout tank top um i figured this would be really cute as like a like a sports bra cover up when i go to the gym um and i just love it's super thin and like breathable so if i didn't want to take it off i could still work out and be fine um i love the color i love the print it reminds me of like lululemon a lot um and it was only 10 bucks so love this the next thing i got were these align leggings from lululemon and i believe these ones are on sale now actually um but if you couldn't notice i love me some leopard print so these are just the like leopard print aligns um i got them in a size six yeah these are size six um but i ended up getting them for like 80 bucks because they ended up being on sale which i didn't know they were so i got these love them i love lululemon you will see um but yeah these are literally beautiful love them love align leggings favorite leggings ever if you haven't tried them try them um and then the next thing i got is this white button-up shirt i got this from savers um for 8.99 um but it's just this cute little white button-up shirt i think it'd be super cute for a beach cover-up um and it is more like kind of breathable so i think this will be really cute especially for a beach cover-up but um yeah love that and then the next place I went to was Lululemon again, and I got a black scuba half zip. Um, I already have a red one that I literally wear all the time. So I decided it was time to upgrade to a black one. So I got this one. I got it in the medium large size. I really like these. I like how like loosely they fit, but they're still cropped enough. Um, but yeah love a scuba and they're very popular right now the next place i went to was american eagle and i got a pair of jeans i've been needing a nice pair of black mom jeans so i finally got them and they are literally so cute and i love how like distressed they are and the backs like the pockets even have nice little cute rips in them so i love that and i love american eagle jeans they're literally the best and they fit me so well so yeah and the very last thing that i have to show you guys in this haul is this cute sublime t-shirt this is from american eagle as well um and i just honestly i got it because of the color and the like i love how neutral it is um and i think it's just super cute um i want to be honest no i've never heard a song from them but i told my mom that i would start listening to them just because i bought a t-shirt so now I have to download some sublime songs on my um apple music but that is everything that i got um i'm very aware that it is a lot i know um i needed some retail therapy just to get me through moving i didn't actually really move i brought a suitcase to new york but anyways um that is everything that i have to show you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um and if you have any suggestions, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. Um, my username is lizzie.perkins. I'll have it linked down below as well. And comment any video suggestions you guys have or anything like that. And I would love to see what you guys have to say. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.